Simmons Insights Results, the index numbers. The index is sometimes the easiest number to understand and make comparisons quickly. The index shows the likelihood of the combination of criteria you chose. 100, indicated by a yellow arrow, is the average across the whole survey base. Notice that the index in the total rows and columns is always 100. That's the average for the entire survey population. If the index is significantly above 100, highlighted with a green arrow, that means the population is significantly more likely to do, use, or purchase whatever it is you queried. The index here of 116 means that people ages 30 to 34 are 16% more likely to purchase adult clothing or accessories at Kohl's, compared to the rest of the population. If the index is significantly below 100, highlighted with the red arrow, that means the population is significantly less likely to do, use, or purchase whatever it is. The index here of 63 means that people ages 25 to 29 are 37% less likely to purchase adult clothing or accessories at Kohl's compared to the rest of the population. That confirms what we saw when we looked at the vertical and horizontal percentages. Around age 30 seems to be the tipping point where people are much more willing to shop for their clothing at Kohl's. When we look at the question about shopping for children's clothing, the index is even stronger. Here, the tipping point of age 30 is even clearer. With an index of 197, those aged 30 to 34 are 97% more likely to shop for children's clothes there. Conversely, while some people between the ages of 25 to 29 certainly still have children, their index well below 100 shows they are far less likely to shop for their children's clothes at Kohl's. However, there's a caution here. Notice that several of these numbers in the children's section have one or two asterisks by them. One asterisk means the sample size is between 31 and 60. Two asterisks means it's below 31. This is a danger in any sample-based survey. Smaller sample sizes are not as reliable to make projections as larger sample sizes. So Simmons flags those for us. One other caution with the index. Notice that I use the word significantly several times when talking about the index. But Simmons does not give us an absolute number of what is statistically significant, which a scientific study or a data analysis program such as SPSS usually would provide. So you need to use your best judgment in light of the sample size as to what is significant. I personally wouldn't draw strong conclusions based on index numbers less than 5 or 7 percent above or below average, but you can draw your own conclusions, especially when considering the sample size. The index here of 21% lower than average seems significant enough, but it may be mitigated somewhat by the small sample size of 39 in this row. Please continue on in this tutorial or video series if desired. Don't hesitate to contact the library with any questions.